Yo, what is good? My anime face. What is good? You know, it's kind of funny seeing someone like x Drake being in this interview or in this meeting with Kaido. Um, even though there's two people who clearly want to move up in the bracket with Kaido. Guess who isn't all that inner, like, he doesn't care about that, right? Like, that nonsense of them not showing up just because they weren't invited by King is funny because that just goes to show you that these other fools would have shown up, right? Like, they would have easily been like, yeah, we're, we're showing up and we're taking, <laughs> we're taking all of advantage of this. But it's actually kind of fun coming back to this game now after playing Samurai Warriors 5 and noticing that one of the biggest mechanics in this game is another mechanic they kind of reused for that game. It feels really awesome. But anyway, I honestly, honestly understand why people don't talk nearly as much about One Piece anymore because... There's such big people talking about it, but at the same time, it just irks me sometimes with these episodes. Like, sometimes this pasting is so atrocious that I am just kind of out of it. Like, I'm actually, like, rolling my eyes bored, you know, because Toei, being how amazing they are right now, or as of lately... They know that people are going to watch the hell out of this show, point blank, period. So, why not lengthen it as much as possible, especially with them supposedly getting closer and closer to the manga? Um, that's a big no-no, and it's probably even, you know, word for a filler at any time, so... Just think, just remember that type of stuff, like, when we start getting close to the manga in One Piece... Trust me, Toei got some plans <laughs> to take us away from that ever happening, us catching up. So, regardless, it just felt so redundant to explain to us why Luffy was angry. Yet again, when last episode, it was pretty clear that he was mad. Toma loves this stuff, and they're being disrespectful, not even eating it, let alone... Uh, you know, putting any type of good word out about it while he's around, and food is pretty important to Luffy, if not Toma at this point, so clearly that's like, you know, going up to someone and telling them that their child is a piece of crap or something like that, you know, so it's not gonna end well for you afterwards. Regardless, I love certain build-ups, but Man, like, if they could have just ex put it up faster, I, and it makes sense because they want the Zoro scene that was super sick, him cutting down the building to, you know, kind of be the end of the episode, and if you take out all the stuff that we see, we would have got that a lot sooner, and there would have still been a lot of episode to show, so that's exactly my point of this, uh, you know, perfect way of withholding their content in such a way, not only did they pretty much treat this like a flashback moment, like, oh, did you remember last episode when Luffy was feeling some type of way? That's practically what this was. And then afterwards, you're like, oh yeah, I do remember that. Like, I was adding new context to it. I was adding new pictures, new Toma, you know, and that kind of sucks, but at the same time, it makes sense because you can't catch up to that manga, and there's still seemingly a lot of amazing stuff about the pop-off so i'm interested in x drake he was sus the whole entire meeting so definitely keep an eye on that on him especially after the encounter with law that never seems to really uh you know be brought back up in the case of him telling anyone else that it happened so yeah we'll see how that all plays out all right with that being said, everybody, take care of my anime people. I hope you have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case it is when you're watching this. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.